Hey, what's up? This episode is for our friend Eric. Thank you so much for supporting our show and watching our episodes. We appreciate it. Woo! Congrats, man. You my boy, Blue. Hey, what's up, daywalkers and fellow travelers of the night? This is going to be a little bit of a different episode. We are going to play some Fortnite because they recently added Marvel characters again, because they've had this before, to the game. And there's kind of a storyline being built there. And I got to be honest, I'm, I, you know, I played some Fortnite a little bit over the years, but I never really got fully into it. Blue is big time into it. He plays a lot of it, plays with my brother, my nephew sometimes, other friends, and he just likes playing that game. He really just, it's a way for him to unwind. And I get it, because, you know, after seeing some of this footage that we're about to see, some of it is my playthrough where I talk and I'm with my brother. all die and then some of it is just blue just going through and kicking butt He's a lot better than I am at the game, uh, but like I said, he plays it a lot more. He really gets into it. He plays Prop Hunt 2 and some of the other mini games, some of which I played a few of, but really this is like his show. So a lot of the footage I'm using is from my Alter Blue, who plays a lot of this on my Twitch account. Uh, but you can always tell when it's him because he usually doesn't have the mic on, or if he does, he just barely talks, you know? And, uh, and then with me, I have my footage, you know, with me talking over it. <laughs> Trust my eyes, you swim like an idiot. <laughs> but I just want to go through the game and what they're doing. So since a lot of this footage doesn't have commentary, I'm going to talk while the footage is playing so you can kind of get a visual of what I'm verbally saying to you. Because this game, obviously, you know, Blue's been waiting for the Moon Knight skin to return. It finally did. So he has the Moon Knight skin and Mr. Knight, who both in the game are one of the limited characters that can carry Mjolnir. You know, the hammer of Thor. So Mjolnir deems Moon Knight worthy. And that's because of a comic book storyline where, you know, with the Phoenix Force and all that that happened in Jason Aaron's Avengers run, where briefly Moon Knight was able to control Mjolnir. So they kind of tied that into this. But it's just really cool to see a character, especially the TV show version of Moon Knight. But there's a DID character, uh, someone struggling with mental health and going through that, who is worthy through the eyes of Mjolnir. And that's really cool. Just really, as to us as fans, is really awesome to see that. So this is season five, I believe chapter four. They're bringing Marvel in. It's called Absolute Doom. And Doctor Doom has taken over the island and he is ready to just rage war on everyone because he has a goal. And we believe, there's a lot of rumors going around, that this goal is something that he had in the comic books where he's trying to make a deal with Mephisto to get the soul of his mother out of hell. And in the comics, it was basically that didn't go well, and he had to team up with Doctor Strange to go into hell to get her soul. So I don't know if we're going to actually do that in this, but that would be really cool. But on the Fortnite island, you know, you have some of the areas that are from past you know, chapters and past seasons that are scattered about, but they're all changed slightly. And you have Doom now in control, and you have his castle at the end of the island with this big cauldron you know, smoke tower where there's a lava pit, and a lot of people are speculating that's where he's going to summon Mephisto from. So that's very cool that it's already in the game and they're already establishing that. And you also have in his castle a bunch of stuff of heroes that he took down. So he actually made his throne out of the thing, which is really kind of crazy and creepy to think about. He's sitting on the thing's lap every time he sits on his throne. Um, but he does get up and just walk around his castle. And if you alert him, he will attack you. And it's not Dr. Doom himself, though. This is a Doom bot. Because a lot of people are like, how are we able to kill Dr. Doom with some shotguns? This is a very powerful Doom bot. It is not the real Doctor Doom. His presence, though, is felt as the updates have come out. But this is just really cool. So you have Doom's castle, 
and you can walk around there, fight henchmen, see some of these trinkets of fallen heroes, like and some villains too, like Thanos' helmets in there. Um, but there's a lot of cool little knickknacks and, and trinkets and you know references to the Fantastic Four and stuff. Um, but then there's also Doom's Courtyard, which is not too far away from his castle. And there's a big statue of him with four heads on, you know, one head on each side. And there's a, you know, cool, usually a Doom chest or an Avengers chest underneath that head. So if you're trying to scour for weapons, that's a good place to try to go. But make sure you watch out. Other players will jump in on you and, you know, you have to fight them too. So it's not just that you go into this island and you try to take down Dr. Doom. You have to deal with other players as well on top of that. So if you, it's optional. If you want to go take on Doom or his henchmen or his followers, you can. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you just got to deal with other players and be the last one surviving. So I do wish on some level as a nerd like myself and story-driven nerd, I wish there was a version of this where it was just a story and you could just play on the island and team up with other people and build a squad if you want and go in and just make it difficult. It is sometimes annoying that I have to deal with other players, a lot of times who are better than me, certainly. Um, but Blue, man, he'll take down a whole team by himself. I watched some of the footage from his recent stuff where a whole team of four, and he took them all out um, when he was at Doomstad, and that's another location in this game. <laughs> And that's where Mysterio is. And Mysterio is kind of controlling over this little town that is, you know, all about Dr. Doom. His, like, a village outside of his castle. And so Mysterio is watching over that. And if you fight Mysterio, again, he's a boss fight, optional. But if you start shooting him, he does use his illusions to create other Mysterios. And then you're wondering, am I shooting the real one? And what's going on? So really cool. I love this. I got into those battles as well. And so did Blue. I think I lost when I went against Mysterio. I won once with the team. And then I lost once. Um, but Blue, I think every time he's went in to fight Mysterio, him and his team have cleaned house. Ah. 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 So again, just more, you know, awesomeness from Blue. Great footage, hopefully I'm showing on screen here. Uh, but then the third villain, because obviously Dr. Doom or the Doom bot is the main one. Mysterio is one of his underlings and followers. Emma Frost from the X-Men, she's also one of the followers, one of the bosses you can take down. And she's hanging out at the raft, which is closer to the other side of the map. And, uh, and you can deal with her and some of her henchmen. She has a little throne made of diamonds and everything and that you can shoot or shoot her. But once you activate her or shoot one of her guards, they all come after you and it is quite a crap show. <laughs> there's a lot of going on. People go to the raft because there's, in this first chapter at least, they have story missions each week. And the first week had this Gwen storyline called Are We Doomed? And we have Gwenpool, who is captive, but she's on a cell outside of the place because they probably just don't want to deal with her talking all the time. So, because they're just like, Emma Frost, like, look, you're annoying and you're a, a, a Deadpool type character. I'm going to lock you up outside and you're trapped there. So there is an optional mission you can do for week one where you can go up to that cell door, knock on it, and talk to Gwen, and she can help you figure out a way to break her out. But yeah, it's, I thought that was cool. So the first week, it was just a couple missions where you're going and knocking on her door. She's giving you some information about the raft. You go back into the raft, 
do those things and come back out, give it to her, and then eventually you break her out. So, uh, so that was week one, and that was kind of the storyline we played in this and going up against Emma Frost. And we spent a lot of time, Blue and myself, uh, on our playthroughs just dealing with the raft because that's where a lot of the story stuff was. There were some quest missions that we had to do there. And, uh, and we were also just trying to unlock the stuff we got on the battle pass. So if you do spend the extra money, obviously you can play the game for free. But if you spend like 10 bucks or whatever and get the battle pass, as you play the game and level up, you unlock other characters like War Machine, other skins you can wear, um, Peel Vereen. And that's some of the things we're going to talk about in the next episode. So I'll save some of there, which is what heroes you play as in this game and what characters you run into across the island. But in this first one, it was really cool doing the Gwen missions, you know, fighting other players, having to deal with them while we're trying to take down Emma Frost. They want to fight Emma? Is that why they're staying here? Because the map's shrinking. And then around the raft, you know, there's cool chests that you can get, Doom chests, Avengers chests to get some weapons. There's computers you have to interact with to free Gwenpool and do her missions. There's Gwen cell outside, obviously. There's the sewers underneath the facility that you can run through, and there's some chests down there. You got the individual cells to some of the, you know, bad guys and stuff in the raft, which they've put good guys in, you know, obviously, because the bad guys have taken over. You got the courtyards uh, outside where people can work out and play games and, you know, basketball and stuff. You got the towers, the four towers around the raft that you can go into and interact with stuff in there and grab chests in there. You can go on the rooftops, obviously, and try to snipe people and take them out as they're trying to approach. And then you got the surrounding areas, which is water and there's a beach like sand. And then there's grass hills around the place. One side leading to the underworld area, which is where you can escape from, from the raft after you defeat it as the map is shrinking. And that's the other thing is not only you, when you go into this battle royale, if you've never played the game before, you have to go in, you have these optional missions you can do. Then you also have to deal with other players. So if you want to go kill Emma Frost and someone else is in there shooting Emma Frost, you probably better to shoot them because at some point they're going to turn on you and you may kill Emma Frost and then get killed by the other person. So it's like, all right, take them out. And then hopefully if you're with a team, turn and take out Emma. Or if you're doing it solo, it's just better to, you know, watch out for yourself and be aware of other players. Um, so that's it. You got to deal with that obstacle and the fact that the map keeps shrinking. There's this, you know, electrical storm thing that hovers around the island. And as the map progresses and less and less characters, you know, exist because you start with 100 and you work your way down to one person in a battle royale, obviously, the map shrinks and that electric storm comes in. And if you get caught in it, you could get killed, you know, it'll drain your energy and you got to just try to stay ahead. And so you have to deal with that, other players and these Marvel characters and bosses on top of everything. So it's just, it adds a nice challenge. It's sometimes a little bit too much of a challenge for me, but Blue really likes it. He's really got into this game and it's cool to see this footage and to watch this and now talk about it and share our you know experience with you guys, but also explain some of the stuff that you're seeing in the clips that we're showing in case you've never played Fortnite before. I know a lot of people who may find this video, you may know all this stuff, you'll know way more than I do, maybe even know more than Blue does regarding this game. But uh, this is just for our audience here who probably a lot of them, if, if they do play Fortnite, I'm unaware of it. We haven't really talked about this game on my show before too much. So I'm just sharing this with them mostly to try to get them on the beginner level that I'm at so they can understand the footage they're seeing. So to go through all this, this first chapter, Are We Doomed? Really fun, really awesome, and a lot of cool skins you can unlock. We've been playing mostly as Moon Knight and Mr. Knight. I know Blue really loves playing as those guys. But obviously as the game progresses, you unlock other characters and other skins and people that take place in the story and some that kind of don't. They're just outside, but they're just there to look cool and be a part of it if you want them to be. And we have more of that we're going to talk about in the next episode. So definitely the first week dealing with the raft, dealing with Emma Frost and dealing with all that, that was a lot of fun. And I'm glad we got to get through it and see some of that footage and get it from both of our sides and share it with you guys. But in the next episode, 
we're going to talk about uniting the heroes. We run into this woman named Hope, and she leads us to other heroes and people that want to fight against Doom and his forces. And then we also go back to Doomstad and fight Mysterio, and you're going to see more footage of that in the next episode. And then in the third episode, we'll get to Doom himself and the Doombot. And then whatever else they pop up future weeks, we'll discuss on here as well. So let me know what you think. Have you played Fortnite? Are you into that game at all? If you are, I'd love to hear down below. What are some of your favorite skins? What are some of your favorite maps or mini games that you like to play? Creators that you see on there? You know, let's keep talking down in the comments. And if you're a Marvel fan, if you're new to this or not, you know, whatever it is, let me know down below. I definitely want to keep talking about the Marvel stuff. I really dig it and I'm glad Blue's so into it because I really like getting this footage and editing it and discussing it with you guys so far. And we're only on one episode in, but I can't wait to get to some of the other stuff because there's so many cool little references and Marvel Easter eggs throughout this that it clearly a lot of love was put into this and a lot of care. And that's awesome because uh, not to bash on Fortnite, but that's just more than I expected from this game. And there's some cool characters that are Fortnite specific like Captain Jones who we're going to talk about in the next episode, who has this cool history within the game universe already. And now to see him elevate to a Captain America type status, because a lot of heroes have fallen. So you have the few surviving heroes, including Moon Knight, by the way. His crescent is in Doom's castle, so that's heartbreaking. Um, so he has fallen against Doctor Doom. But there's other characters out there, like, you know, Captain America went missing. So you have Captain Jones stepping in. <laughs> We're going to get into all that in the next episode so definitely be here for that thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and we'll see you in the future peace